All right, uh, some time ago I saw a video of people playing one of those arcade style games that measure your skill in one way or another. And this one in particular was testing their reflexes by uh, dropping a bunch of batons in a random order. And seeing them struggle I obviously wanted to try it myself and see how I would fare. And the easiest way to do that was for me to build the game. And here are the instructions for whoever might want to follow in my steps. Um, there are many ways to make this game, but to do exactly what I did, you're gonna need uh, six 510 ohm resistors, six NPN transistors, six electromagnets, six diodes, an Arduino Uno board, 12 volt power supply, jumper wires, a one state push button, LED with a 160 ohm resistor, proto board or a breadboard, and some sticks and iron bolts with flat heads, and uh, materials to build the stand. I apologize in advance for calling the parts and processes the wrong way, but I'm not an electrician and if it wasn't for the help of Arduino Forum and other resources, I wouldn't be able to complete this project on my own. Uh, we'll start off with the schematics. Uh, for each transistor, there's a signal going into the base lag from the Arduino digital pin. The emitter lag is connected to the ground and from the collector goes a wire through the electromagnet to power supplies positive. Fairly easy, but uh, doing that six times can be a bit of a messy affair, especially if you have just a tiny piece of proto board like I did. So save yourself some headache, get a bigger chunk and make sure that the wires from magnets and from Arduino at least come from the same side of the proto board. Um, in my case I have magnets connected to the bottom side and the signals uh, to the top and it created some uh, mounting issues. Once you're done connect the board to Arduino's ground and let's add the button that will be connected between the pin number two and the ground and an LED indicator uh, between the pin 13 and the ground. Upload the code from the description and you're half done. This code does this. Uh, when the button is pressed, the LED lights up and all magnets are powered. You can now attach the buttons um, and when the player is ready, he pushes the button again. There is a three second delay and the magnets start turning off in a random order with the random delays between one and four seconds. When they all fall, the LED indicator turns off and the game is ready to be used again. I have 3D printed my button to give it a bit of charm, um, but you can either use it uh, as is or choose any one state button from the internet. But if you like my little ninja button and you are an owner of a 3D printer, I will link the STL file in the description below. Both the Arduino and the rest of the electronics are connected to the same 12 volt 2 amp power supply. The next part I didn't cover as much uh, as there is again many ways to build the game and it depends on your skills and what you have on hand. I had a leftover piece of one centimeter thick plywood and four meters of 3.5 times 5.5 centimeters <coughs> planks used for roofing and some wood screws and angles. Uh, the magnets and the electronics are all mounted on a coat hanger shaped piece of plywood which can be easily slid in and out of grooves on a vertically standing pole. Uh, the pole is uh, 190 centimeters high and the grooves uh, slightly wider than the plywood and in 7 degrees angle. Uh, the part with the magnets and electronics 
uh, can be easily moved up and down, resulting in a change of the difficulty of the game. I bought two 120cm long broomsticks uh, that are made of metal with some plastic coating. I sawed them into six pieces, plugged the ends with a rolled up newspapers and screwed the screws into those plugged ends. Make sure uh, the screws are magnetic so you don't end up going to the store twice as I did. And uh, then I used a generous amount of hot glue to stop the plugs from sliding into the tube upon the impact. And I added some more glue uh, from the other side to protect the floor and make the game a little less noisy. And uh, that's it. I and my guest had a lot of fun playing this game. Um, it's certainly harder than it seems. But I've been playing it for a week now and already see quite an improvement. So I hope you're gonna have uh, some fun with this project. Uh, follow the safety protocols if you do decide to follow me. And uh, yeah, let me know how it turned out. Bye.